the militaries are currently holding the biannual Juniper Cobra military drills. The exercises are aimed at enhancing Israel's capabilities against missile attacks and specifically on countering Hezbollah's enhanced capabilities. Peninsula, the U.S. will be held accountable for igniting the war by mobilizing their massive strategic means and war hardware here, regardless of who mounted a preemptive attack. We have cutting-edge attack methods to beat up the U.S. mainland at any time and from anywhere. Also, we have diligently developed and deployed self-reliant weapons in the era of the Workers' Party of Korea, which enables us to fire strong artilleries. Pyongyang denounced U.S.-South Korea joint war games scheduled for next week. North Korea is also angry over a recent resolution by the United Nations Security Council, which imposed tougher sanctions on Pyongyang. The resolution came in response to North Korea's recent nuclear test and satellite launch. North's officials say their actions are preemptive and are aimed at deterring U.S. potential threats. <laughs> The DPRK army and its people would not miss out on any opportunity to realize the greatest desire of the Korean nation. It will be through the sacred war of justice for reunification in response to any attack by the U.S. and South Korean forces. And as we mentioned uh, earlier, South Korean and the U.S. troops have begun their large-scale military exercises. They started today in an annual test of their defense against the DPRK. The latest U.N. sanctions imposed on Pyongyang are in place as a result of its nuclear test and satellite launch. This is a to block the entrance to the Zaman newspaper offices on Friday night. But riot police pushed through the crowds. By early Saturday morning, they got into the building. They pushed out journalists covering the story and evicted the editors. The two officers have been placed on administrative leave. This incident is not indicative. This is unacceptable. It's not behavior that will be ever tolerated by any city school employee. But this is an isolated incident. Words of little comfort for this teen, whose lawyers say suffered injuries to his ribs and face. His family asking to keep his identity private. Identifies as black. 52-year-old man identifies as a six-year-old girl. Sighted woman identifies as blind. Man identifies as woman. Hey, if we're going to throw out science and DNA, who cares? I care. I want my children protected. Mayor, your community forum was a sham. You and other council members do not care to hear what... presentation and also the same with other transgender people. But since our governor had the audacity to threaten our civil rights and the council of my city from governing in a fair and inclusive way, I must say that his personal bigotry is now here and as you mentioned one person one patient was taken to the hospital it was an adult female and she was stung multiple times we don't know her condition right now but we also have some animals that were taken to the hospital as well three dogs and two cats stung multiple times so they were taken to an emergency vet firefighters tell us that they responded to uh, calls of uh, swarms of bees out here and they actually have two beehives in separate areas so they're trying to figure out uh,